let's go ahead and hit on Utah. At Utah plus 400 to make the playoff. You and I both have the same pick here. Uh, give me give me your thoughts on Utah. I've already told everybody what I like about Utah, but I want to know your thoughts on, on Utah. Yeah, I mean, I just think that Utah is so well coached. Whittingham has got to rank really high in, in the best coaches in the country. He's been amazing ATS, too. So even though Utah is getting some hype here at the beginning of the season, I think a Whittingham coach team is going to do a good job of not buying into that hype and playing. They're so, they're so strong in the trenches. And you guys know Gary loves those teams that are great on the offensive line and defensive line. And there's a, there's a lot to be said about teams that are both good on the offensive line and defensive line. It's harder for them to have a really bad season because, you know, you would have to have some pretty bad turnover luck or something like that. Cam Rising, like you said, was so good at quarterback. Uh, I think the running game will be better. I think they're going to stuff the run very well. I, I do think the wrong team is favored in the Pac-12. But, uh, you know, to make the playoff, uh, Utah doesn't have a terrible path here. Plus 400, I think, is a, a pretty good shot. Uh, we have a, a, a couple wide open spots here because, you know, most people think Alabama and Ohio State will be there. Uh, you know, who knows? Anything can happen in college football. Uh, then, you know, Georgia's a very good team as well. They're also in the SEC. But there's no clear uh, fourth team that would be in the playoff this year. So that leaves us some value here. Uh, the Pac-12 has kind of been out of this for a while. I think Utah has a real chance to get back in it. I, I agree with you 100%. I'm in the same boat here. I think that Utah has the value on this, and, and it's why I like these kinds of bets, right? Because I'm not expecting Utah to go into the playoff and actually win it. I don't know that they've got the roster that's that's capable of doing that, but they could certainly make it to the playoff. And when you've got plus 400 in that spot, you know, I, I already took them at plus 225 to win the Pac-12. I took them at that. I, I took them higher than that <laughs> about a month ago. But uh, But still... Plus 225, pretty good odds to win the Pac-12. Well, if you win the Pac-12, only one loss, you got a win in the swamp. You got uh, some other wins in the division that not division. I guess there's no division with the Pac-12 this year. But uh, but I think that there's actual value on Utah to make the playoff here. Uh, guys, let's let's talk about some of these other teams here. I don't know that there's a bunch of value for teams to actually win the national title. Uh, do we expect anybody to really be able to compete uh, with the rosters of Alabama, Ohio State, and Georgia this year? Parker, I, I want to know your question or uh, your answer on this. Like Clemson has a good enough roster, I think, but we don't know that they've got the quarterback play, and there's questions about the coordinators. Uh, give me give me some thoughts on a national championship here. I, I would say Clemson's probably the one that makes the most sense at 1,000 because they're also probably the most likely to to make it, and so that sets you up really nicely to – you know, bet on Alabama after uh, after it and kind of uh, hedge a little bit there. But I, I really think that, yeah, there's such a drop off here that the the markets really kind of understand that the playoff Cinderella is really largely a, a fantasy in terms of winning it. And as we saw last year, ooh, this might be a spicy take, but like Michigan should have been the, the one seed last year and totally got set up to avoid the rematch. And that, that killed a bet for Michigan to win the playoff, which could have been really, really nice and paid out and cashed out. But they ended up instead of getting Cincinnati, getting the eventual champion Georgia. And so uh, the, just the way the seed works and how it breaks the 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 odds are stacked in in the house's favor um for for how the playoff shakes out so uh, i think the only way that you would make a smart bet on the playoff champion now is if there was crazy odds and a mismatch i don't see that here um clemson just because they're going to be so likely to make it that might set you up in a nice position to make sure you don't actually lose but yeah generally i'm, I'm not in love with any of these even last year i took a couple flyers texas a&m plus 220 Maybe, but even then, I think them getting to the playoffs is going to be such a big deal that I, I just don't know that it's worth it at all. At next year, I think, is the year for Texas A&M, but obviously we'll talk about that when we get there. <laughs> so, Kyle, uh, Oklahoma, brand-new coach. Notre Dame, brand-new coach. Michigan lost a lot of guys off that defense uh, and two new coordinators, although some people would argue about that with you. But uh, And then Texas, of course, we are still trying to figure out who's going to play quarterback et cetera, second year under Sark. They only won, seven, only won five games last year, five and seven. Uh, is there anybody else here in this you know, top 10 that, that maybe you, you would take a flyer on? Yeah, I, I think I probably would have said Texas, but Texas, there must be something bad in the water in Austin. I mean, everybody's going down with injuries. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. And Texas is one of those extremely high variance teams. I mean, they could be really good or they could be bad again. Um, you know, Notre Dame, you can make an argument for them because they play good teams. So if they actually pull off those upsets, Notre Dame at uh, plus 4,000, uh, I've seen worse plays than that. So 
I will say, I don't love Notre Dame as a team. I think they do have some weaknesses. The wide receiver is very weak now, especially with injuries. Um, their their cornerbacks are not as good as what they've been a lot of years as well. So um, in short, I'm not going to bet any of these long shots. And uh, yeah, I, I don't see any great value on any of them. No, that does make sense. Uh, I, I will tell you this. If you like Notre Dame at all, anybody that's watching the show, I would bet it at the plus 4,000 right now because if they come into the horseshoe and knock off your Buckeyes, <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, that plus 4,000 will be long gone. So, yeah, plus 4,000 might be good odds right now, and then maybe you take a, a something else afterwards once we figure out the results of that game. Gentlemen, we're going to move in. 